Welcome to an IronCAD tech tip. This one is on a sheet metal uh, capability. So what we're trying to do here is create this particular shape. And the key thing here is what we want to do is how to build this parametrically in sheet metal so that when you change the length of this, this maintains this distance here. So for example, if I go into parameters, I change this from a hundred uh, millimeters to say 150, hit apply. You can see that this distance changes and the holes and everything else move with that. So question is how do you build this with our kit sheet metal so let me go ahead and, and delete this and I'll, I'll show you how to do this or I'll suppress this and I'll build this for you to show you how this is done so I'm gonna drag and drop a stock out here and just for our cases we're just gonna go ahead and make this a uh, let's just say 100 millimeters to start off with and let's just say we'll set it to 25 something like that and we're gonna also go ahead and set this to say a three millimeter thickness three millimeter bend in there as well. So now we've got this inside of here. One of the things we can do is on our handles, we can go ahead and actually create a parameter here uh, uh, for this. So you can say uh, create parameter and we're going to create a driving parameter. We're going to call this as our length. Uh, for example, let's call length stock. There we go. So we know what this is. That's going to drive our stock value inside our earth. So that's going to be our driver for this. And then we're going to go ahead and add a bend to our part and we're going to have it bend down. So we'll put it on the bottom edge. And I'm just going to pull this down a little way, so it doesn't matter how far for this particular example. Example, but a uh, couple things here. So uh, one thing that, to note is now that we've added that parameter there, if we go to our parameters and we change this to let's just say 150, you'll see everything move in this particular case with what we want. So we'll go ahead and change it back to set that back. So we're going to see everything move and this all adjusts. And the reason is these sketch bins, or sorry, the bins automatically do this option to associate to edge end so they always move with it which is what we want because if you try to pull this in and put a dimension here it's actually going to move this which is fine if you do it to one end so if i pull this in put a dimension here and i change that thickness this will maintain and it'll look like it's doing a uh, keeping that offset value but it's not it's actually moving this bend then it's reassociating the opposite end so if i try to pull this one in and put it a dimension there it can't solve it because it's trying to move the shape uh, in in two directions it's not moving that you had actually change the geometry. So how do you do this with uh, bends? So if you go into any bend, it doesn't matter if it's a bend with stock, a uh, bend uh, by itself inside of here, in the properties for the IntelliShape, you'll see this option here, offset from associated point. So it, it's gonna offset from this association location. So for example, if I type in a value here of you know, positive, we'll offset it out, a negative, let's just say 10 on both of these. We'll set that in 10 inches here, or 10 millimeters in this case. So there's 10 millimeters there. So now if we go to our parameters and basically change that width, we'll go ahead and change that again to 150 and apply, that will all maintain and maintain that distance. So that's how you actually do that is with that offset value. So it's kind of like a hidden feature there, just but wanted to make sure people are aware of that. But you can also parametrically drive that as well. If you wanted to have that adjust based on certain values, you can go into the um, parameters on that bend create a parameter, we'll just call this a setback, for example, and we'll set that to a negative, uh, let's say set it to negative 20 for now. We'll hit okay. Inside of there, now if you go to your IntelliShape properties, instead of typing in the value, select on show formula, and then you can put the setback there. So I'm gonna copy that there and there and hit okay, and that will drive that value there. So you can put expressions in here to drive this different links for that, but that's basically how you can do it. So you can parametrically change that thickness or the offset distance and change your other shape as well. So uh, now we'll go ahead and just add another uh, bend with stock here on the other end of this. We'll flip it to the other side. I'm just gonna delete that stock. I'm gonna add another stock to this, to this edge here. And in this case, we're gonna edit this cross section and I'm just gonna select all this and delete it. Oops, there we go, select all that and delete. And then we can just project constraint this element here so that it will adjust when the top adjusts. So that will give us our shape for this model. And one thing else we want to add to this, in this case, we'll add a hole on this. So we'll go back here to our regular shapes, uh, put a hole. Now let's actually just do a through cut on this. So we'll cut through both sides of these. Notice it goes that direction because this is what I'm looking at. If I look down a little bit onto that top face, it'll go down. And we'll set that value, say uh, 10 there. And then we'll just move this in with the tri ball as well some distance because we can use our smart dimensions here 
on our annotations. We can press Smart Dimensions while this is highlighted. Hold your Shift key down, select that edge, you'll get that center. And then we can put a distance here, we'll just say 10 for that. So we're locking that down. And then we can do a, maybe a mirror feature on this if we like. So we can mirror that particular feature about the center point of this edge. We'll get it to the other side. So now that we have that uh, all set up here, now when we change our parameters inside of here, uh, so we'll change that to 150, for example, everything will adjust. You'll see those uh, all change and adjust inside of there. Let's make sure our dimension here did. Oh, one thing, when you set that dimension to 10, by the way, make sure you select lock, <laughs> otherwise it won't create that constraint. So now let's do that again. If we go to our parameters, change that to 100, you'll see that all change and adjust and set maintain that distance. So we can change it to 200 and we can do that and we can drive our uh, setback distance differently. We want that to be 30 there. We can do that as well and adjust that inside of there. So that's how you can build that. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move that. That's how you can build this parametrically with IronCAD sheet metal using that setback uh, setting on the bend. And keep in mind, this bend will have that associated to edge end on there. So that's why it keeps adjusting and maintaining that value. So it's a very handy feature inside of there. I uh, just want to give this out uh, to everybody so they can take a look and understand how this uh, works with uh, IronCAD's sheet metal inside of here and have an idea of how to build a parametric sheet metal to give this type of behavior. Hopefully you find this useful and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.